Well, there's been another postponement in the case of an elderly South African oncologist facing manslaughter charges in Abu Dhabi. The 77-year-old former pediatrics professor, Cyril Carabas, was tried in absentia for the death of a toddler 10 years ago. He was arrested while traveling through the United Arab Emirates in August. I'm joined now by Professor Cyril Carabas' son, Michael. Michael, good evening. Thanks sir, for coming in this evening. 125 days into this legal nightmare. Uh, still no progress. The family must be understandably distressed. How are you processing these latest developments? Um, we are very, very distressed. Uh, I think the only emotional feeling that pretty much describes how we're all feeling is, is numb and tired. Uh, since his arrest on the 18th or 17th of August, uh, there's literally been no progress at all. Um, we haven't seen any documentation, we haven't seen any evidence. There's been absolutely no movement from, from that day up until today. Um, I think you're, well, to go on reports, uh, your dad's legal team is saying that the prosecution team is going uh, on, on, well, they're, they're, they're trying their best to go on speculation that there is no um, concrete medical reports. Of course, they've kept these reports away from your father's legal team. Bearing in mind these facts, is there any scope at all? Uh, is your dad's legal team saying anything about going after having this case thrown out of court? Well, I mean, that is a... That is a uh an angle that we're, that we're looking at, um, but obviously the court needs to go through its processes. Um, th there's been a, a standing request from, from the judge uh, for the prosecution or, or the court to produce the, the medical file of the patient since, since the, the, his first hearing, and there's been a standing court order since the 11th of October, which has just been flagrantly disregarded. Um, the Abu Dhabi Medical, medical Committee or Medical company, I believe it's called, uh, has basically refused to, to release the file based on what they, what they say is one of their policies. So, I mean, uh, for us that raises serious questions. I mean, in what, what country in the world can, can a court order be ignored based on uh, the desire of a company or a policy of a company? I mean, we understand, of course, patient confidentiality, but this is clearly not the issue here. The issue yeah. here is that um, my, our, my father, our father's uh, treatment has been called into question. And the very record of that treatment is based in that file. Every single day there were bloods taken and, and test results uh, from the pathology reports, from the blood bank, etc. Um, that very record of his treatment is being denied to his defense team. Uh, and, and it's interesting, though, that the, that the medical uh, company who've, who've stated that it's their policy not to release this document I mean, it's, it's not difficult to infer then that, that that was the policy in 2003 or 2004 when the original trial happened. So that raises the question that did they even bother to look at the file at that stage? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's serious questions for us as to why, they're not, why they do not want to release this file to us. Michael, talk to us about your dad's physical condition. Uh, you know, he has been in deterior deteriorating health since all of this started off. Who is looking after him right now? Um, well, he is staying with a friend and a colleague uh, in Abu Dhabi in his apartment. He's also a medical doctor, so um, he does have uh, uh, an experienced set of eyes on him every day. Um, so from that perspective, he is being taken care of. But, uh, you know, obviously the stress of this whole situation and the length of time that it is taking is just completely you know, completely unreasonable and it's taking a serious toll on his health. I mean, he, he, was, he was in court uh, this morning with the assistance of a walking cane. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that you know, and the, the, you know, most of the viewers will know he has a pacemaker, he's got stents in his arteries, he's not a well man. Um, and we understand, you know, there is a, there, yeah. part of us think, believe that the, that the court must take its, must, must take its course and, and the law must take its course. But at the, uh, on the other end, this has been going on now for uh, almost 130 days, like you said. Um, you know, a speedy trial is standard procedure in, 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 in any decent law system, and he's not being given a speedy trial. He's not being given access to the documents that, that will prove his innocence. Um, it seems as if the, the prosecution never even looked at them, if you, okay. if you look at the, the statement made today uh, by, by that medical services company. Uh, it's just a mess, to be honest. But Michael, we will leave it there, but we will continue to watch the story very closely. And we thank you for your time this, th this evening. Michael Carabas, who is the son of Professor Cyril Carabas.
there's been another postponement in the case of an elderly South African oncologist facing manslaughter charges in Abu Dhabi. The 77-year-old former pediatrics professor, Cyril Carabas, was tried in absentia for the death of a toddler 10 years ago. He was arrested while traveling through the United Arab Emirates in August. It's been 125 days, and the manslaughter case of oncologist Professor Cyril Carabas has made little progress. This is the eighth postponement that has taken place in this case and each time the judge postpones it because the prosecution can't find any evidence to convict Professor Carabas. Carabas and his legal team believe key medical documents will prove his innocence and that a three-year-old leukemia patient did not die because of negligence. The girl that died was supposed to get a drug blood transfusion. Professor Carabas says she did get a blood transfusion. He said, if you go into the pharmaceutical records of the hospital, you can see that he drew the blood, the platelets. Caribus' family is starting to lose hope that justice will prevail. The only word is despondent. Um, crashed as well. There just doesn't seem to be any end in sight. Um, we were hoping for at least the evidence to be produced in court today so that my father will have a chance to, to, to defend himself. Caribus is currently out on bail and is due back in court on December 25th. Leanne Jansen, Cape Town.